Here's the setup. Uh, the magnet, it's rated for 250 pounds. Um, I believe that means if it's applied evenly to the surface, it'll pull up that much weight. And so anything that's not like an iron rod in concrete out there should be okay. I'm gonna tie this side to my hand so I don't lose it when I throw it out there. And uh, let's see, it's already, I've done this before. These are little rocks right here with iron in them. That's just like some metal. Uh, the things we're gonna find though, hopefully, are a lot bigger than that. So it's just, you know, as far as I've been, been, uh, been told, it's as simple as just grabbing this right here and making sure it's tight, and throwing it out there. <laughs> That's not how you do it. How you doing? Good, how's it going? Uh, well, you saw that first throw, right? <laughs> Wasn't too good that time. Good luck, man. Thanks. wasn't a very good first throw. That's okay though. It's a learning process. What happened that first time is um, <laughs> my rope was in a big knot and I thought it would just like unspool and it didn't. Just the knot went out. anything in that little eight foot throw. Nope, nothing. That's okay. Okay. Round, round two. Round two. A little bit better. Nothing. When it when it hits you can feel like a you know, it isn't like a fish on a line at all, but it's like you're trying to, you know, the magnet attaches and it clasps on. I probably should watch out because this is metal right here. <laughs> so, um, that could be bad. So far, so good though. Nothing. I don't know what I'm hoping to find. Honestly, the only thing I can think of that I would like to find is like a fishing lure or, you know, something of that nature. I can't imagine there's like any, you know, <laughs> anything valuable tossed over the, uh, over the edge here. Or like a gun or something, you know, something more nefarious. Gross. <laughs> Just a bunch of seaweed. Let's get that off. Oh, so, so I feel something now. It could be, you know, the line's taut. It could be just muck that I'm dragging through. Or, I, yeah, I just felt it give way. It was like a, a weed or something. Yeah, probably just covered in gunk right now. That's okay. I've got the lake right here so I can just dab it off in the water. I swear, I was here a few days ago and I swear I saw a fishing lure right, <laughs> right outside of the, um, right off the dock area or whatever you, you call this thing, I don't know. I don't see it anymore. I guess the, you know it's been pretty windy the past few days, so none of that. I'd say it's like I don't know a 45 foot throw, maybe maybe 50 feet. Just kind of dredging along the bottom. There's a bobber right there in a tree. <laughs> There's some Canadian geese flying across the lake. That was my last video. They're, uh, you know, 
talked about how they're a migratory species and you can't harass them or I think it's called worrying is like the actual term there's a if you worry the geese you're liable for a huge fine so don't tell them about coronavirus You know, I think I'd find something. There's usually some kind of litter. Maybe because um, of the deep sediment, the heavy iron sinks down into it. And it's not on the surface uh, available for my trolling of sorts. more muck. I mean, so far, really nothing. I guess I found a fish hook. I've got a fish hook on here. Uh, you can see right there, the barb is still intact, so I guess I could reuse it if I needed to. Um, the eye is still fine, so I'll, I'll keep that, I guess. That's pretty cool. Uh, I have like a styrofoam pad over there I'll hook it into. I don't know if we're gonna have any luck here. Might have to go somewhere else. Well, this is the second place I wanted to try. Uh, but there's flooding going on. All the snow melted and then this says right here, closed. Hard surface cannot be adequately disinfected. Huh, well, that's interesting. So I guess that's the hard surfaces out there that can't be disinfected. It isn't the flooding that's closing it. Although that certainly is uh, an impediment to use. And then also what I wanted to show you was um, this right here. I, I believe it's a dead smallmouth bass right there. Uh, I don't want to get too wet. There it is. Is that a smallmouth bass or a bluegill or a big weird bluegill? Let me know. I don't know. This is what I do now. I walk around this park and I film myself talking about things I don't know about. So I would say all in all that was a failure. I tried three spots down there and one spot down there that was flooded you could see so uh, no luck. We'll try one more spot and then probably just go home. I'm home now. Uh, someone walking behind me. The park that I wanted to go to when I drove there, the parking lot was like maybe a third full. And the last thing I want is some goddamn narc driving by, seeing cars like four feet away from each other and calling the police and then some local sheriff with a Napoleon complex coming down and arresting everyone. And if you don't think that happens, talk to a sheriff. I'm sure most are great people, but a lot of them are just high school bullies who need some way to show off their ability to arrest people.
That's what that, that's what I've seen. So I said, you know what? I don't want a part of that. I'm going home and I'm in my, my own business. And you know, hopefully everyone else uh, who watches this follows my lead and just doesn't antagonize these people out there who are so obviously looking for scapegoats. They're not looking for solutions. They're not looking to make things better. They want to find someone who they can blame. And that's not going to be me. And it's not going to be you either. See you guys later. Don't be a shithead.